for this sport. You know, I had high hopes for China next summer, but those idiots won't make drinking an official sport. God, I can't remember the last time I was this drunk in the middle of the day. <laughs> you do lead an amusing life, don't you? I do, don't I? Well, I did until recently. Now, I'm the queen of tragedy. <laughs> I mean, first poor Fox, and then Catboy Pete, and then Jake, my darling, darling cop. All dead. Yeah, I'm not doing very much for men's health lately. Speaking of which, where is my bad boy? Who is that fellow who was with you earlier? Yeah. Yeah, he went out to make a phone call, and then he just vanished. Oh. I hope nothing's happened to him. Well, I mean, this is the middle of the day, after all. Perhaps he had some business to attend. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could be it. Oh, God, yeah, I just couldn't bear it if another one of my dates was killed. <laughs> I like the way your mind works. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, what shall we do for the rest of our day, Mr. Crane? Oh, no, I told you, please, please call me Julian. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Eve's left you, and my date has left me. Well, I, I think perhaps we'll able to come up with something. <laughs> 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 I shall only have water for the rest of the day. The stuff they put in the swimming pools? Ew. <laughs> no, no, this was just an appetizer. Oh, really? And what would be the main course? Oh, I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> shall we move on to real cocktails? Uh, you lead or follow. <laughs> uh, two Vanderhusens, please. It's, it's my own recipe. Um, take a t two Tom Collins glasses and fill them with scotch. And then with an eyedropper, you put in one drop of cherry brandy in both. Very good, miss. Yeah. I have a sweet tooth. I bet you taste like candy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never thought we would be such close friends, although I have always found, I've always found you very attractive. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you? Yes, indeed. Do you remember that time? When was it? Spring break. In Fancy was still in college, and the two of you came to join the yacht oh. down in uh, Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, yeah. I was just a child. No, no, you were 18, so you can't accuse me of being a total <laughs> I do remember, though. I spent most of the week in that delicious red string bikini. Oh, and I almost froze to death in that jail cell. String? It was more like three. Oh, you bailed me out. Oh, I thought you were looking at me that week, but I couldn't imagine why the great and powerful Julian Crane would be interested in a silly little thing like me. My darling, you're every man's fantasy. Oh, well, give me a ball of string and I'll recreate that fantasy. I am very crafty. Well, the hell is that bartender? I'm feeling most part. <laughs> <laughs> Pinson! Pinson! Where are you? Oh, gosh, was that a dream? Phone, God answers the phone. Oh. Hello? Eve, are you all right? I'm sorry we fought. Oh, Julian, so am I. Now, honey, Vincent was here. What? No, he wasn't. He's dead woman, when are you going to get that through your head? No, he isn't. Listen, if you wouldn't have shut your mouth off at that medical review board, you wouldn't have been suspended. Here you go, sweetie pie. <clears throat> what, Julian, have I just been gone a half an hour and you've already found yourself another woman? Why don't you even bother calling me? Eve, wait, I, I want to talk to you. No, just talk to your whore, okay? I needed you to believe in me, Julian, to support me, and, 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 and you won't, and I guess you never will. But don't ever call me again. 
she hung up on you. Oh, poor Mr. Crane. Poor rich Mr. Crane. I can't believe she truly meant it this time. I think it's over. Well, when one door closes, <clears throat> another door opens. Yeah. The door to what room? <laughs> Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, barkeep, two more vendor usins. Usin. Shouldn't we have some food? <laughs> Kill this buzz? Certainly not. <laughs> I believe we're going to get along just fine. Mm. Uh, are you worried about what's happened to all of my dates recently, including poor, poor Fox? Well, I, it's very tragic, but I'm sure it's just a wounds of me. No, seriously, though, I, I was considering limiting my dating pool to only men who are on death row. Um, yeah, you know, I figured if anything happened to them, that would just be the wheels of justice spinning a little faster. But wait, then, you see, you would be stuck in the uh, prison, and you should be surrounded by beauty. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you should see men who only men who are dying of a fatal illness. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, no, but not the sick... Uh, icky looking ones, you know, as long as they're, you know, good looking, hard bodied men with fatal illnesses and plenty of stamina left. Well, so well, really, darling, you have me. <clears throat> oh, well, you do give me that warm and fuzzy feeling. Or is that the Vanderhusens? Anyway, <clears throat> if something were to happen to you, at least you've lived a long, long, long life already. Pardon me? I'm really not that old. Oh, well, of course not, my pet. <laughs> but, you know, on the other hand, I've always so admired women who are kind to the elderly. Oh, well, let me show you how it's done. Mm. 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 Wait, we don't need to rush things. You're right. We should savor every moment we have. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Better watch out, I'm going to end up buck naked. Well, that's when you win. <laughs> Mr. Crane, I'm sorry, I know you own the place, but if a health inspector comes in here and sees us, we're gonna get shut down. Oh, poo. You're just afraid of losing. Now why would that be? Huh? Oh. Find out. Oh, oh, here, oh. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. Oh. My wife gave it to me. Ooh, do you want to see mine? No, dear, come here now. Yeah. Let's keep this party for just the two of us, show. Oh. You know, we've done everything we can do in this place, except for one. 
Oh, no. I got thrown out of the book cafe for that. That is not what I meant. I meant dance. What do you mean we did the conga? No, I mean real dance. Ooh. Show me something sexy from your youth, like um, a foxtrot. Oh, no, let's not talk about foxes. Oh. Oh. You little snake. <sighs> Barkeep, some music. <laughs> oh, Julian, you're a real man. You know, all those other guys are just little boys. They would run for the hills if they found out that all my dates were being murdered. Well, just because your other three dates were murdered, it doesn't mean anything is going to happen to me. Oh, you're so courageous. Just like Fox was. Oh, God, there I go again. Huh? Well, it's the crane way. We never shrink from danger. Oh, yeah, like my fourth guy, the coward. He went to make a phone call and never came back. You don't have to worry about me, dear. I'm invincible. Oh. Uh, well, <clears throat> you better be. Uh, and if my bad boy ever comes back, he better have a very good excuse for abandoning me. You better. Whoa. <laughs> Who knew an old geezer like you could be so strong and powerful? I'll show you what an old geezer can do. <laughs> You're perfect for me. You're so strong and powerful. Nobody would dare hurt you. Promise me that you will not let anyone take you away from me. Oh, my darling, just let them try. Mm -hmm. <laughs>